Yo, what's good? My name is Adam Yo, Judy, Adam and this is my first ever, like, in-face, you know, oh, tutorial video this. on this YouTube channel. <laughs> this YouTube channel, from this point back, was a uh, tight beat channel, and it had all of my beats that I made over the past, what, four years? So, I'm gonna switch things up a little bit. This is me, this is the guy behind the tight beats, and, uh, yeah, so, a little bit about myself, my name is Adam Judy. I probably just said that already. Probably not. Uh, I am a music producer, beat maker, whatever you want to call me. I am also an artist manager for my man, uh, Mizzy Mans. Uh, so let's get into it. So right now we're going to do like a little pop-up scory type beat for you guys right now. Um, so follow me to FL Studio as we get into FL Studio. So what we're going to do is... We're gonna go look at uh, we're gonna look at this melody right here. Oh, I'm gonna get my headphones on. Just mess these up. What the? All right. So, right now we got uh this melody from my man Loki Beats. Shout out to him. So let's pull up the. Let me fix my mouse. So let's pull up this. So I got the melody one. So I'm gonna have my template on FL Studio down in the description. It's probably gonna be a Google Drive folder. Click it, download it, and um, there's plenty of tutorials on how to uh, like use a template on FL, but I have mine automatically open when I open the when I open up the software. So let's get into this melody. So we're gonna listen to the whole thing and then we're just gonna go down and I'm gonna mix it down a little bit and then add drums and so on. So here we go. Just to see So right now I have my stuff down like minus four six and I have them all the same, even though this one right here really doesn't have it doesn't have anything on it. it there's only five tracks, but so I pretty much go through one, mix it out, and then I'll put a uh, an EQ on, an EQ on it. So. Nothing too crazy. Okay, and then let's pull up like the next melody. This one can go down a little bit quieter. I'm gonna play with the levels, but really like EQ is the main thing that I kind of toy with. And I always cut out the low end. I try to cut out a little over 100 dB, but I try to keep it to where you can at least hear some of the bass. But you need enough room for that 808 to kick in and the kick to, you know, go through so let's do let's just listen to the entire audio and see if it kind of gels together better than what it did so if you look at what I'm doing right here I am looking at the melody bus with all the um, instruments playing together so I can tell because I kind of like to have my melodies, even though there's multiple melodies, I like to have them like all of them hitting at least at 15 dB on the melody bus. So when I'm looking at the melody bus, we're going to pull up the we're going to pull up all these just up about a few dB just to see if that does any difference on the on the melody bus. Just to see I am gonna throw a just a little bit of a limiter on here just because I feel like it's peaking way too much Do 
also if you can't see my channel rack uh, it's on the other screen and also my mixer is usually on the other screen but for this video I have the mixer on the main screen right now so you guys can see what I'm doing so I'm just gonna add in also if you want to here's what my channel rack looks like because I had the template added but yeah so mm, where is with the hi-hats because that what's that's what sets the mood in terms of like the pace and the rhythm of the beat so let me go here also when you when it comes to your kicks always try to put the velocity all the way up that'll help it kick through and punch much harder <laughs> So the way I master or I put in my master is I uh, tend to only put a soft clipper and usually I kind of have it down here but I just kind of for the second time I kind of just put it right here really quick but pretty much that's all I add so then when I add the 808 it actually cuts through and it doesn't like uh, peak or like clip so we gotta, find, we gotta find the right 808 I kind of like the Zaytoven it depends what key this is in F minor so I'll probably just go with the spins in all honesty Oh yeah, so I use a limiter. I 
also use a limiter on um, the 808, especially when I have it hitting multiple times. Also, make sure to always cut your 808. Just make sure you always cut your 808. That's pretty much the beat right there. Uh, I'm not really gonna add more to it. It's a very simple, tight, you know, good, you know, paying melodic guitar beat. So let's go ahead and uh, X, let's go ahead and split this. Button. Here's a time lapse of me arranging. So here's the full beat. Uh, sorry, my webcam actually just died. So here's the full beat. Uh, the link to the beat will actually be in down in the description if you guys want to listen to it, download it, buy it. But uh, yeah, here you go. Yo, the Ed will make this. Yo, the Ed will make this. Loki made this. <laughs>